everyone welcome to a new organizing and decluttering video today we are doing my airing cupboard well i say today actually i'm not doing it today i'm just showing you the beginning of it today because i'm off to cornwall on a little camper van weekend trip and just in case the weather is nice enough i want to take my swimming costume but i know it's in this airing cupboard and i also know i will need to empty quite a lot of the airing cupboard before i can get to it so i thought i'd just very quickly do this introduction and show you what i'm beginning with oh and i'm also on a very creaky floor right so this is it from the top there we've got like hand luggage and little weekend bags then we've got a few pillows and duvets just stuffed in I think there's a sleeping bag in that bag more pillows and duvets another sleeping bag and then like towels and blankets and all kinds of stuff and this is a deep cupboard this is rampant full there is a reason why we have so many duvets and pillows it's because we moved away from our family and they often come and stay and when they do particularly at christmas when both parents and sisters and families come they often double up on the duvets as well i don't think we can realistically keep that many anyway i'm not going to ramble on too much just now i'm going to just start emptying this out the guest room is right next door here so i'm going to literally just cover oh i'll move these duvets off and i'm going to pile everything up in here wish me luck okay just a very quick update we can now actually see the shelf of towels this is cleared a bit and in here i'm stacking up pillows and cushions there duvets there sleeping bags there bedding here oh that's a sleeping bag that belongs over there and i've got to my beach bag i found my swimming costume so that's good and i'm just going to leave that for now today and continue with this next week the bottom of the airing cupboard is now pretty much empty I'm quite impressed and you can see how big this cupboard is it's stupidly big actually it's almost a waste because really the cupboard only needs to come to here all this extra space is going to be a bit awkward to try and fill well with storage but I'll have to think of something excuse me I'm out of breath I'm running around does anyone else hate this about airing cupboards the fact that all the slats go across like this and then your towels or bedding or whatever just falls through so my next task is actually going to be i'm going to take out all of the towels even though i'm not sorting them out i pretty much know we need all the towels and then i'm going to i've got a flat cardboard box ready and i'm going to cover those slats with a flattened with with cardboard so that I don't have this problem I mean I'm guessing it's for the airing I mean airing cupboard it, it's in the name but I find that too annoying I'd rather have less air to be honest so this is what the result is I, I will run the hoover around it uh, before I fill it up again um, there's a couple of bits that I haven't sorted through I've got a shower curtain in here not quite sure where else to put that a little pile of hot water bottles and this is dust sheets for when I'm decorating and a sheet there so that when I'm painting walls and ceilings I've got stuff to cover the floor or the furniture and I, and I kind of want to keep them and I know that they're there and I know if I put them somewhere else I'll forget where I've put them okay so I'm taking you into the guest room where I've piled everything up this is obviously not something I decluttered when we moved and probably should have done this bed is piled almost to the ceiling look with duvets and pillows and this is all bedding with a few sleeping bags at the end and then on top of that there are actually two single duvets under here which i should have pulled out first this bag this big carry bag this bag towels that bag and that beach bag have all got swimming things in and then we've got a few blankets over here and like quilts blankets 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 so it's all pillows this side I mean that's just ridiculous and duvets I mean you can't I can't show you quite how many duvets we've got 
I mean, it, it's ridiculous. And you can see how old and skanky they are. It gets really cold here. So when we have guests, I thought, oh, it's all right. We've got another duvet. We've got another duvet. But it's got to the point where no, no more. One duvet each, one pillow each. If they want more, they're going to have to bring it. So that's two double duvets, three single duvets. I'd like to double up so that they're warm. <laughs> but we're just going to have to give them electric heaters for their rooms, I think. Because... I can't keep 14 pillows, can I? I'd like to double up on the one pillow is never enough, I know, so they'll just have to bring a pillow with them because I can't keep 14 pillows spare. I just can't. So all the skanky old ones are just going. I'll actually probably put them above me because we haven't really got any proper insulation in this house, so all old fabrics and stuff like this go in the roof as insulation, so they won't be wasted. Yeah, so the next thing for me to do is work out what what actual bedding we need and get rid of the rest. I'll get back to you. <laughs> Now I'm going to refill this up with towels. Actually a lot of the old ones were sorted out recently and converted to dog towels. So most of these are fairly good quality. I probably don't need to get rid of any of these, I don't think. I'll check them over as I put them away. done all sorted oh, i need to get married again so i can get a really nice set all matching that would be so nice <laughs> yeah there were a few there that are a little bit old and ropey but we do run out of towels I, I will keep a lookout particularly for more bath towels in the january sales i expect okay i think i'm now sorted as far as the bedding is concerned right this navy blue set is the spare double set they usually go down in the basement so i've kept them the warm you know that nice soft what's it called brushed cotton set i think that, and there's two matching pillowcases in there so that's for them now this is our spare set one one for the wash and one on i do have two duvet covers here this one and this one um this is ikea and i want to check whether or not it actually fits our duvet because ikea bedding is a weird slightly weirder shape so i'm gonna have to just try that out before i pick which one to keep uh these two pillowcases are for range i've just found them they match the duvet cover that she's got already and then this is going to be her spare sheet and duvet cover i'm going to keep these two single duvet sets uh here we have three single sheets I'm going to keep this duvet cover. This one's going to go. I'm going to keep the blankets because they take up less room than extra duvets. But I think that will give a nice, helpful little bit of warmth um, when guests are staying in the winter. And then behind me, this is the huge pile of bedding that's going to go. I mean, loads of it. I'm really pleased all this is going to go. All this is going to go. Oh, that's going to go. So, yeah. Quite a successful declutter, I'd say. Okay, next task is to sort out all these old pillows and duvets. To be honest, I think most of these are gonna go. Oh my God, I don't know where all these pillows have come from. We're always short on pillows, but oh, they are disgusting. Just look at the color of them. They must be ancient. So. All this stack of one, two, seven, eight, nine, they are going. They are definitely going. They are horrible. And then we've got three new ones here, keeping them. And then there's one over there that's sort of okay. I'll put that in the keep pile for now, but if I start to run out of room, then it's going. So that's pillows, cushions. So we've got three cushions over there. What is it for? Oh, maybe it's four. I'm gonna leave those for the minute, but I will go around the house and see how many cushions I actually need. 
probably not that many. Okay, let's get these out of the way. I'll just put them between the rafters and I should think that'll provide some quite good insulation. <laughs> I'll do the same with the old duvets. So I should get these out of the way and then tackle them. Okay, duvet sorted. We've got two double or king ones here that are definitely going. They look disgusting. Uh, one in a bag here, which I, I'm only guessing was once used as a pet bed or I kept it to be a pet bed. I mean, it's covered and maybe that's actually what it is. I think maybe that is actually a dog bed, not a, um, not a duvet actually thinking about it. I think that's a dog bed filling. Over in that corner, it takes up a huge amount of room, but that's our really thick duvet. So I'm keeping that for winter. Then we've got two singles. Now this recently came off Rain's bed and obviously it's a bit of a gross color, but I'm gonna put that through a hot wash in the machine and see how well it comes out. The one on top is actually looks better, but it's, it's a feather duvet. I, I know I never would have bought a feather duvet, which means probably pretty old actually. So now I've decided yet, yeah, that's gonna go. <laughs> That's gonna go. And here we have actually two doubles that are good condition because we did buy. I bought two brand new ones recently. One, this one is brand new. I don't know, we only really need one of these. I'm thinking about keeping the top one because this one is a really weird shape. It's pretty much square. We put this on our bed recently and we just couldn't figure it out. It's so wide, looks quite new. Where's the label? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is not new. If you don't know, St. Michael is basically a vintage Marks and Spencer label. So that's probably why it's good quality. Right, so I'll add that to that pile. Oh my goodness, this is so good. Okay, sleeping bags next. Oh, sleep, oh sleep, sleeping bags are falling. Oh, right, oh, let's get that out of the way. All of this is going. This is brilliant. Oh no, there's holes in it. I was hoping to put that on free cycle because is this the one that's also like an airbed? Yes, it is. And we bought this for one camping trip in the New Forest and I've never used it since. That was about nine, eight or nine years ago. I don't know if me and Chris are likely to go camping again, to be honest. We just go in the camper van. But that can probably go. What's this? Is that a double sleeping bag? Is this our old one? I can't see us camping again. A bit sad, can't see it happening. Okay, I thought I had a really genius idea here to store all the bedding in this sort of storage hanging thing you probably recognise from Ikea. It was Jude's, it's in the jumble box and I thought, oh yes, that would be perfect. I could hang it up there, I can push it forward so it can use up some of this sort of wasted space on the sides. But the holes are too small, I can't actually physically get the double duvet cover in that gap and I'm so annoyed because that would have been perfect. I'm going to have to think of some other storage thing because... I really don't want it just in a cardboard box on the floor getting in the way. Okay, I'm not sure my second idea is working either. Um, it's a temporary movable wardrobe on wheels and it fits perfectly. I thought it would do well as extra like coat storage and perhaps we could like just rest our sleeping bags or something in the bottom of it. But it's much wider in the cupboard than I thought. It's gonna be really hard to get to the towels. So I think this is a no as well. Oh, I'm annoyed about that as well. I've just found one of those plug socket things in this sports bag. Yeah, like you do. I've finished, I've actually finished, I can't believe it. It's the sort of task you think, oh yeah, I can do that in a weekend, maybe even just a Saturday. Uh, two weeks later, <laughs> finally finished. So here it is. I have kept all these bags up there, and yes, I admit, I haven't properly gone through those. We probably don't need all of them, but that's a convenient place to keep them for now, and they are useful. And so yeah, I used one of these uh, compartment hanging shelf things, 
and then that was so good i was so impressed with this and then i got a second one which fits in so nice and neatly under there i was really pleased with that okay so let's go through it all we've got at the back there which you can't quite see those are the towels that we use when we dye our hair so those are the ones i don't mind getting bleach splattered or pink or purple splattered you know that sort of thing bath towels hair washing towels hand towels and flannels around the corner single guest bed sheets single best guest bed duvet covers double guest bed duvet cover and pillow cases double guest set quilt and then the two compartments at the bottom are the spare sets for mine and chris's bed so hopefully i can free up one of those compartments when i've worked out which of these two duvet covers is better over here we have rain's spare set this one's for Jude, there's obviously a new sheet here, the duvet covers in the wash, the main guest bed quilt, a spare guest bed quilt, underneath here another sort of grey fluffy quilt and the knitted blanket that Chris's mum knitted. For, this one is for Jude actually. Rain's are in the camper van at the moment. Over on the left here, Rain's sleeping bag, Jude's sleeping bag. The bag of dust sheets when we decorate are still here and a little stack of hot water bottles are still here. But look how neat and tidy the floor space is. That's so good. And most importantly, we can get to the fuse box which is brilliant <laughs> and then over here on the right this stack isn't ideal but hopefully i'm going to get some hooks or something on the wall here so we can hang these up but this is my swimwear in this bag rain swimwear in this bag jude swimwear in this bag and this is full of swimming towels and our beach shoes that sort of thing and at the back we've got three single duvets for guests on the left tucked behind there um two spare pillows this is our winter duvet and behind here is the guest double duvet and the other guest double duvet is on the guest bed where it can stay because <laughs> there's no more space for it this this how how just how does this happen where this cupboard is now full i mean yeah it's neat and tidy but it is most definitely full so just tell me how all of this came out of it as well a couple of random foam cushion pads i think they're going to go in the bin this massive stack of bedding i mean how did that come out of there there's more just under there there's a duvet cover there all of this is going to go how did that come out of that one cupboard it's ridiculous and i just had a sort out of our swimming stuff all of that can go and all those manky old pillows are just in the corridor along here at the moment not to mention the stuff that i've put in the wash because it was smelly i don't i don't i don't get it how does that happen i would never get all this back in that cupboard now well that's it i'm a bit um i'm being really unsentimental apart from the blanket from chris's mum that she knitted rain and jude when they were babies i'm not being sentimental about any of the other blankets and other bits and pieces that we've had for years i'm being really good getting rid of the kids duvet set it's a little bit sad isn't it <laughs> but no all going i'm being really good chris and i have had a house now for 23 years i mean i'm, I'm sure a few things have been chucked away along the way but generally not so i'm quite please so it's no wonder we've had so much stuff to get rid of really i'm still not one of these people that are converted to this getting rid of everything theory some things i'm absolutely perfectly happy with getting rid of if it's worn out or stained or you know generally manky i'm fine with getting rid of that sort of thing that's no problem it's when it's still quite good quality things i just don't need it that's what i don't like getting rid of i will leave the video here i hope you enjoyed watching my big clear out and if you did please give this video a thumbs up and if you're new here please hit subscribe if you have friends who you think might like this channel please send them the link i'd really appreciate it and thank you for watching see you again next time bye